What are you doing on railway property? Taking a shortcut. Come off it, mate. You'll have to think of a better one than that. What's your name and address? Foot eight, age 25 to 30, clean shaven, dark hair, brown eyes, blue tweed coat and grey flannel trousers. No hat, no overcoat. Last seen turning into Pike Street, less than 100 yards from here. Baron? Oh, he's all right. Gonna have a lovely eye on him in the morning. You don't go winking at anyone or you'll open up that cut again. Right, I'll let you know if anything else happens. The city boys have sent out a general call for the finisher, Charlie. Don't you fret, they'll get him all right. Get him? They won't, you know, Sarge. From the look of all that, you'd think he'd been trying to do repair work to the rolling stock. What might this be? Hold it, Sarge. It's a detonator you're playing with. No, it's all right. Tap it a bit harder, lose all your fingers. Are you sure, Charlie? I'm sure, all right. Never stop mucking about with these in the army. Now, what could a bloke want in a goods yard with a box full of detonators? We'd better find out. Hello? Exchange? Give me control, will you, mate? Hello, control? What's been through here since nine? General Freight? Yeah. London Express, yeah. Anything else? Special freight consigned to Portsmouth Naval Dockyard. Aye, aye. What was she carrying? Thanks, mate. This looks like a hot one. Hello? Railway headquarters? Give me the super. Oh, he's in hospital, is he? Well, then, give me his own security. Mr. Warrillow, if he ain't in his office, get him at his home. See. Right, now listen to me. Inform control straight away. Tell them to find the best place to park the train. And send Baron to city headquarters to wait for me. I shall be there in ten minutes. Have you got that? All right. <laughs> 